51 now on your Tuesday morning. Always a pleasure to visit with etiquette expert Diane Gotsman. Today, Diane, we're talking about interviewing networking tips for introverts and extroverts. I guess we should start off with a primer, kind of what those two terms mean. So an introvert is someone who is contemplative, quiet, thoughtful, often seen as insecure because people misread them. And an extrovert is someone who's gregarious and conversational, but could also step over the lines and be a little boisterous. <laughs> so we're talking today about how you can communicate if you go to parties, networking events, business functions, and feel comfortable whether you're an introvert or an extrovert. Like, okay. like so many things, there's pros and cons to both personality types. Yes, yes, and you know, you can very easily step over the line either way. So for an extrovert, I think the first thing to do is you need to stay focused. Meaning, if I'm an extrovert and I'm gregarious and I'm outgoing, it also means I probably want to meet everybody in the room. Mm -hmm. So while I'm talking to you, Amanda, I'm looking over your shoulder to oh, see who's at the bar, who's walking attention. in the door. You're not paying attention. So stay focused on the person or group that you're talking to and make conversation and don't lose track. Because have you ever talked to somebody and then they ask you the same question yeah, over and, and you know they, they weren't listening. listening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to listen. So that's the first tip. And then you want to be comfortable, and we're talking about extroverts here, by the way. You want to be comfortable with that pause because the extrovert feels like they need to fill in every space. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody takes a break, they jump in. <laughs> but that doesn't allow the other person to have this two-way dialogue. Right. So I, I would say I'm an extrovert. And I, well, I just interrupted you. <laughs> that was a great question. Oh, there she is. Yeah. 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 Right there. But I was yeah. going to say, I have noticed sometimes when you're having a conversation with another extrovert, it is difficult sometimes because you're oh, you've all seen that. trying to get <laughs> ratchets. Yeah. It's the yeah. competition. You know, it's a competitive conversation. And it's so interesting because before before this segment, I was asking who, you know, who is an introvert and extrovert. And so Lauren said she's an extrovert. I would say so. <laughs> Dave and I are introverts, yeah. and Amanda's yeah. an extrovert. So it doesn't mean that you are pigeonholed in a certain role mm -hmm. as an introvert or an extrovert. It just means that you have to be good at what you do. You have to know, as introverts, mm -hmm. you need to know your focus, and, and as extro extroverts as well. So, you know, it's not about passing out business cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, that's not how people are going to remember you. It's about making that making that impression. Uh, impression that way people will remember you and they won't say oh my gosh that girl or that guy was obnoxious they're gonna say they were so conversational they really engaged with me so that's why you want to share the spotlight before you pass out your business card because they're just gonna toss that business card anyway and then you want to make sure and reach out to different personality styles which means that so Lauren since you're an extrovert and you see me <laughs> sitting over here in a corner which we should not do even as introverts mm -hmm. yeah you want to walk up to that person that's by themselves because there is going to be something of value that you can gain from that person. And plus, they are probably going to be a great communicator and you can they are going to be able to yeah. offer you some insights as well, meaning some business as well. And why not try to make them feel more comfortable? If you're comfortable going up and speaking to people and being a little more outgoing, they may not be, so pull them into the conversation. Well, exactly. And I think something that I do a lot um, is... Maybe it's so you, so you want to fill the hole. Um, fill I in ask, the pause? Right, exactly. I ask a lot of questions yes. of this person to make. I don't want it about to be about me. Oh, I do this and I do that. But, yes. Well, let me ask you what your interests are. And that's, open that's what I do. Open-ended open questions. So it's not just yes or no or yellow or blue. It's how do you know the host? Or how long have you been at the startup? And what do you think the... the what do you think the future is going to hold? So make, ha, allow them to talk about themselves because who doesn't like to talk about themselves? <laughs> we all like to talk about ourselves. Yes. So now the introverts, yes. you have to make a plan, which mm -hmm. means that if we know, you know, if an introvert knows that they're going to a really busy conversation, uh, you know, a busy networking event, then they need to have some downtime before and after. So they're not going to be all stressed out. And play to your strengths. If you're contemplative and you're thoughtful and you're a great communicator, because that's what introverts are, make sure that you're bringing that to the table when you have these conversations. Talk about information that you know. And you're going to schedule that downtime. And then create yeah. opportunities for yourself. Social media is huge. Yeah. So, and I think one of the biggest things about that on that list, as an introvert, you can go to those events. I can go to those, have a great time, and be up. But you need that time either right before or after to be up. Because yes. it is a drain. It, it can be an enjoyable thing, but it's a drain on your energy. If that's yes. You want to do that. And it doesn't mean that you're a bad communicator. It just means that we 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 need different types of downtime. Yeah. yeah. Diane Gottsman, we appreciate it as always. We'll be